Let's have a look at this example. Along with her husband Martin Luther King, Coretta Scott King played an important role in the civil rights movement. She was most active after 1968 when she took on the leadership of the struggle for racial equality herself and became a key figure in the women's movement. Now we have a name over here. But before I look at the question, you need to understand the context. That's very important. So the entire paragraph is basically talking about Coretta Scott. That's a huge hint. That means anything other than Coretta Scott is extra. So this name Martin Luther King is extra when we talk about this paragraph. Now apply the rules as well. Along with her husband Coretta Scott King played an important role in the civil rights movement. You will have a pen pencil with you in your hand. Cut this out and rest of the sentence makes perfect sense. So definitely this word is extra over here. That's how you understand whether the name is essential or non-essential. So now when you've identified that this is non-essential, it needs to come in between two commas or two dashes. We already have a comma over here, so we should have a comma over here as well. That should be the correct answer. So A is definitely wrong. You cannot have a semicolon over here. Along with her husband Martin Luther King, yes, this is basically non-essential. We have got two commas over here. Hence, C is our correct answer. Let's have a look at this example. Some animal trainers claim that most obedience programs consist of no more than teaching a dog tricks. A dog that has undergone obedience training may understand commands such as sit, down, and heel, but may still engage in destructive and aggressive behaviors such as chewing shoes or digging tip flowers. Now in this question our clue is basically this word and I have already told you that whenever you have this word most of the times it should be followed by an essential clause and if that is the case there should be no comma before or after the word that and also please remember another thing a dog that has undergone obedience training so we are basically talking about a specific kind of dog. That's another rule that you should remember. Whenever you're talking about any specific thing, it has to be essential. Specific information is never extra information. So you see, we are not talking about every dog. We are talking about a specific dog that has undergone obedience training. So it is essential information and there should be no comma over here. So A is definitely wrong. A dog that has undergone obedience training may understand this is the right version. So our answer is basically option choice B. Next question. In November 1895, German physicist Wilhelm Roentgen accidentally discovered an image created by rays emanating from a vacuum tube. Further investigation showed that the rays penetrated many kinds of matter. A week after his discovery, Roentgen photographed the hand of his wife Anna, clearly revealing her wedding ring and bones. The image which electrified the general public aroused great scientific interest, uh, interest in, the, in the new form of radiation. Now I have read the entire paragraph and the purpose was to understand the context first. And you see the entire paragraph is basically based on this physicist William Roentgen. So the first thing you need to identify, identify is this cannot be extra. William Roentgen is essential over here. See. The entire paragraph is talking about William Roentgen. We have got a name over here and we have got a name over here as well. But you see Anna over here is not essential to the rest of the paragraph. So this is something you need to understand. So this is where the context basically comes in. Now let's have a look. In November 1895, also remember that you've got a comma or you always have a comma after dates. German physicist Wilhelm Roentgen accidentally discovered. This is completely fine. It shouldn't be non-essential. So our answer is option choice A in this scenario. We don't need a comma before or after Wilhelm Roentgen. That will be wrong. Okay. Uh, next we have, I'll read from here. A week after his discovery, Roentgen photographed the hand of his wife, clearly revealing her wedding ring and bones. So if you cut out the name Anna, it doesn't affect the rest of the sentence. So you can see Anna over here is non-essential. This is basically non-essential. So the purpose of this question was to tell you how important the context is. So in this scenario, Anna is non-essential. So again, option choice A is completely fine. Now let's have a look at the last sentence. The image comma, you have a hint 
whenever you have a comma after the subject you should be careful and after that you have a w word as well you see we have a w word so now things are falling into place the image comma which electrified the general public aroused great scientific interest in the new form of radiation we don't have a comma over here now this is basically we have identified that this clause is basically non essential so we must have a comma before and after the word before this and after public because a non essential clause always comes in between two commas or two dashes so our answer should be option choice b next example the store where i work has a return policy i have always found amusing normally customers have one year from the purchase date to return unwanted or defective item however customers who make purchases on february 29th have four years to return their items the store's owner reasons that customers should have the right to return an item until the next occurrence of the date on which they bought it since february 29th occurs only once every four years customers should thus be allowed nearly 1500 days to decide whether they truly want a toaster or pair of shoes now well, this is a very interesting policy okay now let's have a look at the context so we have got two kinds of customers one is a normal customer like who makes a purchase like every day just like normal people and then we have this exceptional customer who makes a purchase on february 29th so what do we have over here although we have a w word but this is very specific information and i've already talked about this whenever you have specific information it is essential it cannot be extra you see if you cut out this information it will be like customers have four years to return their items although this sentence makes sense but it means like every customer has four years that's wrong so whenever you're talking about a specific information please understand that it has to be essential and whenever it is essential it cannot come in between two commas or two dashes so option choice a is definitely wrong customers who make again we have got a comma over here so option choice b is also wrong customers who make purchase on february 29th we have a comma over here so c is also wrong we are left with option choice d in which we have got no comma customers who make purchase on february 29th have four years to return their items definitely this is our answer